Lick of the week. Um, I'm gonna do a Randy Rose lick. I'm um, getting a couple of messages to do that, and uh, so I'm gonna do it today. I got it off the um, just like the tribute album, and different solos I've heard him do. Um, I'm gonna have to put my own thing together. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you now, fast, and then I'll go through it slow. Uh, show the internet a bit, just sit like that. So, this is. <laughs> There, um, <coughs> so it starts something in the eye. Um, we turned off a step down, um, and we're starting on the uh, low E string on the second fret. So it's all in eye, and then you can move it wherever you want to do it. So it's like so if it's in E, I will move it up here. Anyway, you want to play it in different keys. So yeah, I'm in eight. I'm starting on the uh, second fret of the low E string. So I'm there, and then I'll go to the third and the fifth. And I'll do that on the A string as well. So it goes like this. And then I go to the D string, where I play the fourth fret, fifth fret, and seventh fret. And I play that on the G string as well. Sometimes I'll bring that back as well. That's all good. So on there, I'll, I'll hammer it on and pull it back off to go back up. So I go like this. Okay. So I'll go. So there's that G. Then going on to the B, I'll go to the fifth fret. Yeah. And then sixth fret. And the ninth fret. So from there it goes. I won't pick most of this, I'll just hit the main notes. Hammer it on. That's what most of Randy Rose kind of stuff was. He didn't really. He did pick a lot. He could pick fast, but then like what, sometimes he just hammer stuff on and then pull it off and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of that in like Crazy Train and the stuff solos like. And then if you look at the tribute album, um, listen to his solo, you could hear loads of that. So um, yeah, so saying on the B string, you have the fifth fret, uh, sixth fret. And seventh fret and eighth fret, and then on the E string, you get to the fifth fret, and there is a bit of a change now. So you get to the seventh fret, so it's dot to dot, and then you get to the the eighth fret. So, yep, yeah. and then you, what you do is you pull it up. Then you I mean you go up from there, you get to the tenth fret. Yeah, and then you go down to the eighth fret, down to the seventh fret. Says so she so going up and then back down again to that seventh fret. And then from there you go to the B string. You go to the tenth fret, eighth fret, and then the sixth fret. So from there, all together, you've got. Sometimes you might come back and do it again. Like I did up here. Because that's all Randy Rose. Yeah? 
So you go from there, and then you do the same on the G string, but instead of going to the 10th, you go to the 9th fret, 7th fret, and then 5th fret. So it's dot to dot, and do the same on the D string, and then from the A string, you go to the 8th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, and then back to 7th fret again. So it goes. So it's the first part all together, so we'll go like this. Okay. Obviously, like I said, in between you can do little parts. So it goes. Do little stops. Whatever you want to do. The main thing you usually do is just goes all the way and then all the way back up. Um, yeah, so the next part after that, after you go from. You get to the E string again and you go straight to the A. So you just. So that'll be on the 5th fret. And then the A string you go to the 6th fret. And then on the D string you go to the 7th fret. Yeah, and then on the G string you go to the 8th fret. And if you want on the B string, you can do the 10th fret. So we'll go. And then from there, you do this. Show that again, slow. Okay, so from there you go. Pull off from the tenth fret to the to the uh, seventh fret. Yep. And then you go to the G string on the eighth fret. And do that twice. And then you go to the seventh, the <coughs> eighth fret on the G string. Pull off to the fifth fret, and then you get to the seventh fret on the and the D string. Same again, do it twice. So it goes. Now what you do is you go to the D string, and you get to the the uh, seventh fret on the D. Pull off to the fourth. Get to the sixth fret on the I string. And you do that twice again. And then you get to the I string where you pull off from the sixth fret to the third fret. And then you get to the fifth fret on the low A string. So all together slow which you go like this. And you do that twice over there. So you just on the A or whatever you want to do. Um, so that's, that's the whole lick all together. It's two parts. We've got the one part. And like I said... You don't want to just be like... What I usually do is I pull off that so I'll go forward and then pull off and then go forward and then pull off again and then do that on each one except for that one so it goes yeah <coughs> so and then from there you just do the says here Randy Roslick